Recreational kayaks are designed to be as stable and easy to paddle as possible. That means they're easy to paddle forward and they're also easy to turn. But some kayaks are easier to turn than other ones. And in general, the longer a kayak is, the better it'll go forward, but the more difficult it'll have to turn. There's a couple of other factors that affect a, a kayak's turnability. The hull design can affect its turnability, as well as the rocker. And the rocker of a kayak is the shape of the kayak from the curvature of the kayak when you look at it from, from the side. The more banana shaped it is, the more turnable it's going to be. Kayaks that are much flatter, have a much flatter profile, will travel straight more effectively. But all recreational kayaks do a good job of turning if you use the right strokes. And that's what we're going to look at in this video. But before we get started, please subscribe to Paddle TV if you haven't already and hit that notification bell because we got lots more paddling tips. Plus we got lots of great paddling gear reviews and paddling adventures coming your way. Sweep strokes are hands down the best way to turn a kayak, whether you're stationary or you're moving. And there's two types of sweep strokes. There's the forward sweep and the reverse sweep. What we're gonna start with is the forward sweep from a stationary position. The stroke starts right up at your toes with your blade completely in the water. Now the difference between a forward sweep stroke and a normal forward stroke is that your paddle follows an arcing path as far out to the side of the kayak as you comfortably can. To do this, the hand controlling the active blade will reach out over the water while your other hand stays in a low position in front of your stomach. You'll then continue this big sweep until your active blade approaches the stern of your boat. Before the blade hits your stern, make sure you slice it out of the water and move to your next stroke. The key to the sweep stroke is to use the power of your whole upper body and not just your arms. And the way you do this is to sit up straight and to follow the blade with your eyes. This forces you to turn your upper body and engage your core muscles. Something else you can do to give your sweep stroke more power is to push on the foot peg on the sweeping side of the kayak as you take the stroke. The sweep stroke works the same when you're moving forward. You can use a full sweep stroke to do a real course correction, or you can even do, use, use just a partial sweep stroke if you want to make a partial correction. In fact, I'll oftentimes, when I'm paddling and I'm needing to accommodate maybe wind or current that's trying to turn my boat a certain way, I won't use a full sweep stroke. I'll take my normal forward stroke and then halfway through, I'll finish with a half, the second half of the sweep stroke. The bottom line is when you're pulling a stroke alongside the kayak, you're propelling yourself forward. When you reach that stroke further out to the side of the kayak, you're imparting more turning, uh, turning power to your kayak. So the further you reach out, the more effectively you're gonna turn your kayak. And this is one of the reasons why turning your boat on edge helps you to turn your kayak even more effectively with a sweep stroke. You can reach further out to the side it also is actually reducing the, your kayak's footprint in the water and makes it want to turn more easily too. So turning your, or tilting your boat on edge is a good way of enhancing your sweep stroke. Now the reverse sweep really is just the forward sweep done in reverse. But before we look at it, something to note is that any reverse stroke that you take, you should never change your hand position on the paddle. That means when you do take a backstroke, you're gonna be using the back side of the paddle, and that's the way it should be. The stroke starts with your upper body turned so that you can see your blade as you plant it fully in the water at the stern of your kayak, about six inches from the side of the boat. Just like the forward sweep, keeping your eyes on the blade will encourage you to use your torso rotation. From here, you'll sweep as wide an arc as possible out to the side of the kayak and right to the bow. If you want to make this stroke a little bit more effective and you're comfortable doing it, you can tilt your kayak into the stroke. Now the best way to turn a, a stationary kayak completely around and go in the other direction is with a combination of forward ends and reverse sweep strokes. Start with one or the other. If I start with a forward sweep stroke on one side, I'll then finish with a reverse sweep stroke on the other side. 
So there you have it, the two sweep strokes, the best way to turn a recreational kayak. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to Paddle TV if you haven't already, and stay tuned because we got lots more tips, gear reviews, paddling adventures, all sorts of stuff coming your way.